Hey, how's it going guys? Type here. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the new Agent Killjoy, along with going over the updates and changes that got introduced with Act 2. So if you guys want to skip to a certain part in the video, there'll be timestamps in the description below. And while you're down there, go ahead and click that subscribe button because we would greatly appreciate it. But anyways, let's get right into it. So starting up with Killjoy, Killjoy has four abilities that, that seem pretty busted. Starting up with the first one is going to be an alarm bot. Basically what this is, is going to be a little bot that you deploy. Whenever an enemy enters the vicinity of this bot, they now take double damage to anything. So say if they get shot with the classic, they're able to get a one hit or two shot with the classic. Or with say for example a vandal, usually a vandal takes four shots to kill. Now it's only going to take two. So this is going to be kind of annoying if you don't, if you aren't aware of where this is at. So you're going to want to shoot this immediately before the double damage gets activated on you. And moving into the second ability is going to be a turret and the turret shoots a burst at any enemy that enters the vicinity again you're going to be able to hold down a site 10 times better with this because this is going to alert you whenever there is an enemy nearby or if they're pushing and you're going to be able to call out to your teammates that they're pushing this way and just overall it's going to look like a hassle to deal with but anyways moving into her next ability and that is going to be a nano swarm Basically what this is, is going to be a grenade. And when the grenade actually activates, it's going to be a swarm that attacks the enemy all at once in the general vicinity. And I'm not sure how fast this kills you, but looking from the previews of it, it looks like it kills you really fast. So hopefully you'll actually be able to escape it in time. And for the last and final ability is going to be a lockdown device. Basically what this is, is going to be a little force field slash dome area of effect where any enemies are actually inside this area. They'll barely be able to move. They won't be able to shoot and they'll be basically useless for, for eight seconds. And yeah, you better hope that you're not caught in this. But uh, yeah, apparently you can destroy it, except I think she's able to carry more than one. So that's Killjoy. Now moving into the actual updates and changes, there's really not that many for agents except the Rays. She actually got a nerf making it where her rocket launcher actually pulls out slower now so you're actually going to be able to retaliate and put up a fight when Ray's pulls out her rocket launcher in front of you whereas before it was kind of annoying just seeing the Ray's and her pulling out her ultimate ability and just bopping you but along with that she's also going to get her blast pack damage reduced it's getting reduced from 75 to 50 so now once you get shot once or twice Ray's isn't just able to throw her blast pack and kill you instantly which is making it a lot less frustrating to play again so that's pretty cool so that's all the agents that got changed changed but another main thing that changed is how the ranked system works so now after an act all that matters for your act ranked are your nine best ranked wins of the act and how many wins you've gotten in the act so if you peek at diamond for example but drop down the gold your act rank will only remember when you were diamond so that'll be good when you're doing your placements for this new one and they also made a couple more changes i'll link it down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out but that's pretty much it for all the changes and updates coming with this patch except they now added a death match basically what it is it's a 10 player free for all and how it works is the first person to get 30 kills within six minutes wins but there's also going to be no abilities and you'll be loaded in as a random agent and you're able to purchase weapons and heavy armor is given to you when you spawn in but when you actually kill an enemy they drop a health kit which makes you uh fully restore your health and armor so you're going to be able to go on long streaks but other than that they basically just fix a lot of bugs i'm not going to be going over that because it's way too many and they're not really that important but if you guys want to go check them out like i said click that link in the description below but anyways guys that's gonna be it for the video let me know what you guys think about this update let me know what you guys think about the new act are you overwhelmed are you underwhelmed and let me know if you guys enjoyed the video but i'll see you guys later peace